up your YouTube, search for Stupid Meadows, watch on your big screen. Or another device if you're at home. Get yourself comfy, this could take a while. What a happy scene. Something new every day for your long term memory. This is so exciting, it is nearly time for a stupidly assembly. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening everyone, and welcome to our Friday Celebration Assembly. For each other we, every day we, to improve we, together we will, every single Stukely day we focus on. Our Stukely motto is, our Stukely curriculum is, Our stupid plan for home learning is four words that make the magic happen. Yes, they do. Anyway, uh, it's the end of our first week. It's been a very short week. Monday was a bank holiday. Tuesday was a teacher day, a training day. We've only been in school now three days and it's already the weekend. Go on! Um, it is a celebration assembly today, but I'm not doing all the certificates. I'm not talking about AR. I'm not talking about Numbots and Rockstars. I'm not talking about the Stukely Prediction League. I'm not even going to do shout outs from home. I've had two or three shout outs from home. I could do with some more. So we're not going to do normal celebrations today. I'm going to move them all to next Friday. I promise you, if you've got AR certificates or millionaires, I'm going to do them next week. I promise. But we're going to celebrate some of the happy times that we've had at Stukely because we always celebrate on a Friday. That is what we do. So, first of all, before I show you some videos, some nostalgic videos, nostalgia is you should know this word, where you remember things from the past in a happy way, that's very nostalgic. Um, before we do that, um, teachers, staff in classes, I want you to pause the video in a moment, and when you pause this video, I want the whole class to talk about things they're excited about for the summer term. So, I can tell you one thing already, year six doing bikeability today, that's exciting, somebody's gonna say that. Um, I would say sports day. It's happening this year. It's going to be great. Uh, we've got a grounds morning coming up in a couple of weeks. I would say that. Have a think about everything that we might be doing in the summer term. Might be curriculum. Teachers, you might be able to talk about the curriculum things you've got coming up. Anyway, think about things you're excited about. Pause the video. Share them in class. And when you come back, got a great treat. Okay, hopefully you've had a chance there to talk about a few bits that we've got coming up. The summer term's really exciting. Let's start getting excited about it. Anyway, um, I miss Mr. Jones. There, I've said it. I miss him. Uh, lots of you will know that Mr. Jones hurt his arm quite badly a few weeks ago. He's had to spend a lot of time in hospital. He's had to spend a lot of time at home. We made him a card. We gave him a little gift to say we're thinking about you. I'm hoping that we're going to see Mr. Jones a bit more over the next few weeks. We really miss him in the dinner hall, really miss him around school. We just miss him. And when I was thinking about Mr. Jones yesterday, I thought about some of the greatest videos he made. Do you remember about two years ago, we didn't have a sharing assembly. We had a daring assembly. And I dared Mr. Jones to do silly things. Do you remember that? 
the daring assembly. Anyway, I asked Mr. Jones to do some silly things and I made some videos called Mr. Jones Japes. Yeah, do you remember? Yes, I knew you would. Anyway, just because it's Friday, because I want us to be happy, I'm now going to show you the Mr. Jones videos. There's four very short videos of him doing silly things. Check these out. We've got loads and loads of tapes of Mr. Jones Japes. We've got loads and loads of tapes of Mr. Jones Japes. We've got loads and loads of tapes of Mr. Jones Japes. We've got loads and loads of tapes of Mr. Jones Japes. We've got loads and loads of tapes of Mr. Jones Japes. We've got loads and loads of tapes of Mr. Jones Japes. We've got loads and loads of tapes of Mr. Jones Japes. We've got loads and loads of tapes of Mr. Jones Japes. We've got loads and loads of tapes of Mr. Jones Japes. We've got loads and loads of tapes of Mr. Jones Japes. We've got loads and loads of tapes of Mr. Jones Japes. We've got loads and loads of tapes of Mr. Jones Japes. We've got loads and loads of tapes of Mr. Jones Japes. We've got loads and loads of tapes of Mr. Jones Japes. We've got loads and loads of tapes of Mr. Jones Japes. We've got loads and loads of tapes of Mr. Jones Japes. Oh, I mean, I mean, I know they're silly, but we need to see Mr. Jones back in the mixer, don't we? He loved doing those videos. Anyway, before we move, this is this is going to be a bit of a silly assembly. I think we've worked that out. Before we move on to and I haven't forgotten about the last ever how long will it take to be triumphant. Um, before we move on to birthdays and everyday knowledge, I've got one more video to show you from last year. Do you remember last year we used to have a show called 36 Seconds? Do you remember? Lots of you have asked if it's coming back. Anyway, I was talking to somebody two days ago about 36 Seconds. Do you remember when we did the challenge to make a dog out of blue tack? Do you remember that one? Yes. Anyway, for a bit of fun, it's Friday. Let's watch that again. Here we go, 36 seconds. You've only got 36 seconds, so that's what we're calling this test. And you've got to try, I really don't know why, to beat the others and become the best. You've only got 36 seconds, so that's what we're calling this test. And you've got to try, I really don't know why, to beat the others and become the best. Here we are again everybody, 36 seconds. This is only the third episode. It feels like it's been around for years, doesn't it? Okay, um, this week I gave a ball of blue tack to people and I said, you've got 36 seconds to make a dog out of that blue tack. Now the dog could be standing up or the dog could be laying down flat. 
but I needed a dog after 36 seconds. Who did I ask? Well, I asked Mrs. Booth to do it. I asked Mr. Partridge to do it. I asked Lily in year five to do it, and I asked Bella in year five to do it. Actually, I didn't ask those two girls. They were chosen at random. We used the most incredible system. They were both selected. They came out to do it. We're now gonna find out how those four people got on. Uh, after they finished, what I then did was I asked Mrs. Page, who's one of our art experts in school with Mr. Smith. I asked Mrs. Page, who was in school, if she would have a look at the dogs and tell us which was the best. I didn't tell her which one they'd done. I just showed her four pictures of blue tack dogs and said, which is the best one? So at the end of this show, you'll find out who's won the best blue tack dog in 36 seconds trophy. Let's see how they got on. Hey everyone, we're kicking off with Mr. Partridge, hero of PSS. He's been tasked with making a dog out of blue tack. He knows he's only got 36 seconds, but will he be chosen as the best dog? Let's find out. You've only got 36 seconds to make a dog out of blue tack. And you've got to try, I really don't know why, to stand it up or lay it on his back. You've only got 27 seconds to make a dog out of blue tack. And you've got to try, I really don't know why, to stand it up or lay it on his back. You've only got 18 seconds to make a dog out of blue tack. And you've got to try, I really don't know why, to stand it up or lay it on his back. You've only got 9 seconds to make a dog out of blue tack. And you've got to try, I really don't know why, to stand it up or lay it on his back. Here we are with Mrs. Booth, ready to take on the 36 second challenge. Oh. Tell me when I can go. Bit out of tune there, sorry everyone. <laughs> well, back on. You've only got 36 seconds to build the dog out of blue tack. And you've got to try, I really don't know why, to stand it up or lay it on his back. You've only got 27 seconds to make a dog out of blue tack. And you've got to try, I really don't know why, to stand it up or lay it on his back. You've only got 18 seconds to make a dog out of blue tack. And you've got to try, I really don't know why, to stand it up or lay it on his back. You've only got 9 seconds to make a dog out of blue tack. And you've got to try, I really don't know why, to stand it up or lay it on his back. And stop! <laughs> hey everyone, this is, this is Lily from Year 5. Just had a nightmare with the camera. Wasn't it genuinely the worst time of your life, Lily? Yeah. Yeah, it was incredibly bad luck for me. Everything broke, but we're going for it. Right, I start singing. She makes a dog out of blue tack. Everyone's happy. You've only got 36 seconds to make a dog out of blue tack. And you've got to try, I really don't know why, to stand it up or lay it on its back. You've only got 27 seconds to make a dog out of blue tack. And you've got to try, I really don't know why, to stand it up or lay it on its back. You've only got 18 seconds to make a dog out of blue tack. And you've got to try, I really don't know why, to stand it up or lay it on its back. You've only got 9 seconds to make a dog out of blue tack. And you've got to try, I really don't know why, to stand it up or lay it on its back. And stop! Okay, we've now got Bella from year five. She's up for the blue tack challenge in 36 seconds. Let's have a dog. You've only got 36 seconds to make a dog out of blue tack. And you've got to try, I really don't know why, to stand it up or lay it on its back. You've only got 27 seconds to make a dog out of blue tack. And you've got to try, I really don't know why, to stand it up or lay it on its back. You've only got 18 seconds to make a dog out of blue tack. But you've got to try, I really don't know why, to stand the double lay it on its back. You've only got nine seconds to make a dog out of blue tack. And you've got to try, I really don't know why, to stand the double lay it on its back and stop. Well, that was interesting. 
Four people attempting to make a blue tack dog in 36 seconds. Yeah, there's a line I never thought I'd say out loud. Um, well, first of all, let me show you their four creations without their names on. Check these out. Now, I showed those four pictures without the names to Mrs. Page, and I asked her to tell me which was the best, and then second, third, and fourth. So this is Mrs. Page having a good look at those pictures. Mmm, decisions. First one's very good. Although this one, second one's got a good tail. Ha oh, ha, you can see that she's in the zone there. I mean, it took her at least 30, 35 minutes to make a decision. Anyway, before I tell you her decision, now let's look at those blue tack dogs again, but with the names of the people who made them. Here you go. Oh, it just gets more exciting. Okay, well now I can give you the results. In fourth place was Mrs. Booth. Sorry, Mrs. Booth. In third place was Bella from year five. Well done, Bella. In second place, Lily from year five. Oh man, would you believe it? Would you believe it? Stukeley's very own, PSS's very own. First place, let's give him a big round of applause, Mr. Partridge Partridge, woohoo! <laughs> Well done, Mr. Partridge, what a result. When, Mr. Partridge, when you were a small boy, when you were a little child at school, when you were at primary school, did you ever think you would win a competition when you grew up to be a sports coach? Did you ever think you'd win a competition to make the best blue tack dog in 36 seconds when up against three other people? I bet you didn't. Well done, Mr. Partridge, a great result. Uh, we've had number writing, we've had blue tack dog making, and we've had evil Knievel retrieval. What will next week bring? What will the 36 seconds be there for? Let's find out then. Till then, let's go. You've only got 36 seconds, so that's what we're calling this test. And you've got to try, I really don't know why, to beat the others and become the best. You've only got 36 seconds, so that's what we're calling this test. And you've got to try, I really don't know why, to beat the others and become the best. Such wonderful times at Stukeley. We've had so many wonderful shows, so many great videos, loads more to come. Anyway, that's given me a bit of a smile. I hope it has you too. Let's finish off this Friday basically bonkers assembly, not even celebration assembly, with birthdays and EDK. Come on! Hey, 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 it's time to say we've got a stupid birthday. Hey, 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 it's time to say we've got a stupid birthday. <laughs> oh, come on! Okay, happy birthday today to Rizwan in year four. Have a great day, Rizwan, and happy birthday for the weekend to Elijah in year... Now, I need to get this right. Elijah in year three, uh, Luca in year one, and then on Sunday, Lennon in year one. I think I've got those right. Happy birthday, boys. Fun with family and friends, celebrate another year older, tell me all about it. Nobody ever tells me about it after, they all forget, but if you get the chance, tell me about it. Okay, let's finish with everyday knowledge for you. And we are learning to remember things worth remembering, learning to remember things worth remembering, learning to remember things worth remembering, everyday knowledge for you. And we are learning to remember things worth remembering, learning to remember things worth remembering, learning to remember things worth remembering, everyday knowledge for you.
Okay, hello everybody. EDK, Everyday Knowledge for You. Um, we've had quite a lot of music and composers in our Everyday Knowledge. Well, not really lots, we've had three. Um, hopefully you remember we've had Rossini's William Tell Overture. We've had uh, Dvorak's New World Symphony. And we've had Prokofiev's um, Dance of the Nights. Now I'm gonna play you another piece of music by a very famous composer, a Russian composer called Tchaikovsky. He lived many, many years ago. He died, he's died a long time ago. He's one of the most famous composers ever to have lived. Listen to this piece of music. Now, this is an incredibly famous piece of music. When it starts off, it sounds a little bit like Hedwig's theme from Harry Potter. It, it kind of gives me those kind of feels when I hear it. It gives me those kind of feelings, but, but it's actually a piece written by Tchaikovsky and it's called Swan Lake, Act Two, Number 10. It's from the ballet Swan Lake there are lots and lots of pieces of music in Swan Lake, but this one is very specifically Swan Lake, Act Two, Number 10. It's an incredibly famous piece of music. It's going to come up lots in everyday knowledge. So um, I hope you'll get used to it. And you might hear it, you'll hopefully hear it in other places. You'll hear it and you'll be able to say to your families, oh, this is Tchaikovsky, Swan Lake, Act Two, Number 10. I need to learn that bit. Okay. Um, Let's do some chemical elements. Let's do some chemistry. Which element from the periodic table is this? Nitrogen. Neon, wait for the pointy finger. Stop coming in early. Aluminium. Carbon, fluorine, hydrogen, helium, oxygen, iron. Sodium. The Bible is the holy book of which religion? Christianity. The Torah is the holy book of which religion? Judaism. The Quran is the holy book of which religion? Islam. And the Vedas. Vedas is the holy book of which religion? Hinduism, well done. One more date to finish. What happened in 793? That's right, the Vikings invaded Great Britain. Yes, they did. See you next time for more EDK.